Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. Um, today, uh, I, I kind of seen a couple of, uh, or at least one picture of this that made me want to do this review. Number one, this is coming from my um, all-time favorite brewery. Um, and any of everybody that knows me loves knows that I love Samuel Adams. Now, I, I think that they are a safe brewery to go to to get a beer, or many of different styles and flavors of beers that are very safe. They, they, they don't go uh, way out there, so you're spending your money on something that you don't enjoy, per se. Um, or they are ones that you know that you can spend your money faithfully on that can deliver you a decent and very good beer. And by that, I mean this is for a dear friend of mine on Facebook that had this tonight. Sandy Mills, this one's for you, man. I'm telling you what. Bam. Samuel Adams Harvest Pumpkin Ale. I know that the light's kind of bright and they have to be like shade that. Look at that. Harvest Pumpkin Ale. This is the 2013 version of the Harvest Pumpkin Ale. And let's see if we cannot um, do this one right. Um, I did not look up any information on this. I, I tried to do this very well. Ooh, look at that smoke. Whoa, there it goes. Wow. I've never had a Sam Adams do that one for, for me. Um, that, that was amazing. I don't know if you can see that in there. I doubt it. But, man, there is a very, very big streaming carbonation bubbles. Um, I'm going to get a lot of head off of this one. Wow. Very, very nice. Wow, I can smell it already. Let's see what we can do. See if we can pour this all in here. Still got a little bit left. I know I'm going to get all of it in there. There we go. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to set this right here. See what we can get out of this, man. Sam Adams, Harvest Pumpkin Ale, 2013, Beer Geese Beer Reviews, review of the Harvest Pumpkin, man. Right here, right at you, right here, live. But by the time I go ahead and upload this, maybe a couple minutes away from being live. Um, right there, almost a finger, finger and a half worth of head. It's a very, very rocky head. Um, big soap bubble head. This is, look at that, very dark very very dark copper color now if I bring it back here to the light it is very red um, this is very carbonated I don't know I don't think the camera's gonna play nice for me tonight I don't think you're gonna be in, able to see inside the glass um, the head's even an off color um, it's almost got like a um, an eggshell color um, very carbonated I love that. I tend to love these glasses because they've got the edge bottom down here, and it's the, the nucleus site down here creates a lot of that uh, carbonation, which which adds a lot when it comes to the um, aroma. It, it keeps the head flowing and it keeps the carbonation, you know, coming up from the bottom. And I'm telling you what, man, this is just so lovely. Um, it makes me want October and November to hurry the hell up. Um, I, I am very anxious for Halloween, and I'm very anxious for Thanksgiving. Um, two of the biggest holidays for me, that, Halloween, I mean, come on. I, I love to scare the shit out of people. Who doesn't? I mean, it, it's fun to dress up, you know, be somebody else for the day. And Thanksgiving, man, give thanks for your family and for your friends and for you know everything that you have received throughout the year thus far. Um, with that said, let's get into the beer. Um, like I said, very dark copper color. I mean, if you look it into the light, I mean, it's very reddish. My dude Justin back there drinking some nasty ass beer again. I'm gonna get. I'm talking shit. Yeah, I'm talking shit, dude. Um, here we go. Uh, like I said, very copperish color, very reddish hues. Um, head settled down now. We're getting about a finger's worth of head. Uh, now it's turned creamy. I've stirred it up a bit, you know, getting 
a little bit more of a head on it. Very, very big spice notes. Um, I don't know, per se, if they brew this with all spice, but you're getting uh, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, clove, especially. You can smell all that right off the rip, right from the top, and I'm telling you what, it smells like a pumpkin lover's dream. But I know a few beers that go over the top, that love to sit there and be like, bam, here I am. But with Sam Adams, I, I, I tend to say they are a brewery that um, gives you more of the middle of the road. Um, they don't tend to do them over the top um, because of the fact that there's a lot of people out there that just don't like over the top beers. But, you know, I'm already over my limit, so let me go ahead and get into this. Mm. Piece of pumpkin pie in your mouth. I'm telling you what. Um, first off, like I like the nose, man. Big, big spice notes. Ginger, nutmeg, allspice, clove, cinnamon. Um, you you do tend to get a little bit of a malty note if you're looking for it. If you're not looking for it, if you're just wanting to drink this beer, you're just going to get all of those spice notes. Um, and you are going to get a little bit of pumpkin. The pumpkin flavor does actually show through on this. Um, I, I think, if I can remember correctly, last year's was a little lacking. They picked it up a little bit for this year's. Um, I'm actually really happy with this year's, um, I, I believe it was called the uh, Harvest Collection Pack. Um, I'm very pleased with this year's edition. Um, this one here, excuse me, um, it shows through very well. The pumpkins there, the 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 cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, they all you know, kind of like an allspice flavor. I mean, there's a little peppery note in there. Um, the beer itself seems to me that it has like a a, a light to medium mouthfeel. Um, I, I don't see a lot of people drinking a lot of these, um, at least more than one of these or two glasses, uh, only because of the fact that it's full of that spice aroma and spice notes, and um, it, it, it's just a lot to take in. It's almost like if you're going to overindulge on a um, pumpkin pie throughout uh, the holiday season. Um, with that said, I, I will sit there and say... Um, I, I really enjoy this year's version, so if you haven't had it, please go out there, seek out, you know, even if you can go to a store, you know, your craft store sits there and sells um, craft beer in singles, please do, try it, you know, pick this bottle up, revisit it, visit it for the first time, um, get out there, try it. Um, like I said, Sam Adams uh, Harvest Collection 2013 is, um, is pretty much the best one of the last couple of years. Uh, with that said, Beer Geeks Beer Review saying that this is a very good beer. Um, it's there. There's a few things that they could do better with it, but let's see what. Uh, being that this is the Harvest Pumpkin Ale, I want to see what the Fat Jack can do this year. Fat Jack is their double pumpkin ale. This is their single Harvest Pumpkin Ale. I caught a vulture in it. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh God. <laughs> anyway, um. Here we go, man. I'm telling you what. Uh, good beer. Get out there. Try it. If you had it, let me know what you think. I don't know what's going on behind me. Oh, uh, that, that was that was something else. Anyway, Beer Geek Beer Review signing out. Pros, cheers. Don't drink and drive. If you need help, seek assistance. Call a taxi. Call your friends. Call your family. Call whoever. You know, the bum lady down the street. Maybe she can walk you home. I, I don't know. But that... He's got me all messed up now. Um, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Peace, deuce, you know, much love. Beer Geek Beer Review signing out. Brew Tubers, one up. Love y'all. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.